Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Kenny with the nine here. Uh, I know I haven't been really posting videos as of lately, but you know, life kind of happened. So that's pretty much why. But uh, I just wanted to throw out a 2020 uh, gun collection video for you guys, man. Just to show you guys where I'm at in my gun collection. Um, and just for starters, man, I just wanted to throw out that the uh, reason why I don't really have that many uh, long guns or just anything that, you know, shoots a higher caliber uh, round than like a 9 or a 380, as you can see, is pretty much just because I like handguns more. Um, I plan on getting um, more rifles, more pistols, you know, that shoot like 7.62 or uh, 223, 5.56, stuff like that. But uh, this is what I have as of right now. Um, so with it being the only one I have, let's just kind of hone in on it. This right here is not a Draco, but this is a Zastava M92 Pap. Just wanted to give you guys some close-ups of it. Right here, it doesn't come out of the box like this. Uh, for the most part, it does, but I threw a, uh, a Bakelite grip, pistol grip on it. Uh, one thing I must say about this is a Stava is pretty heavy. Just trying to shoot it with one hand it's pretty heavy. Um, this man, I mean, you can do it if you're strong enough, but you know, for the average guy, you could probably get like one to two shots out before you're like, fuck that. Um, I tried to refinish the hand guards. Uh, I feel like I could have did a better job on it, but um, it is what it is. It came out all right. Um, I didn't touch the muzzle brake. Uh, I have a Bakelite mag, uh, Bakelite mag, uh, but right now I just have the. Uh, let me uh, eject it for you guys. I just have the uh, steel mag right now. doing this one hand you guys sorry about that um yeah but i just have that in right now um but overall man i love this gun uh it's very collectible man a lot of people like to say it's a novelty gun um i don't plan on using it for novelties or nothing like that it's solely for protection with me um but enough about this is a of m92 pap let's move on to the very first gun that started my collection is not the very first gun that I've had. I've had probably like 15 guns before this, but this is the first gun that started the collection where I started collecting. As you guys should know, I'm pretty sure you, everybody knows what this gun is. This is the Taurus PT-111 G2 Millennium. Forgot to say Millennium. The PT-111 Millennium. Um, but yeah, man, um, uh, as you guys can see, it's not the you know the standard black slide. I uh, took the finish off because it was once a black slide, but the finish was wearing off, so I just stripped it off. But uh, I didn't uh, I didn't polish it to where it was just chrome, shiny chrome. I left like a lot of dark spots on it just to give it like a shadowy look. And um, man, I just didn't been through it all with this gun, man. Um, I don't really have too much going on with it. Uh, I did have a laser attached, but uh, in the near future, I might just, you know, buy a light for it, like a PL Valkyrie or something like that, something, I don't know. Um, I don't like that it has a safety, but I don't ever use it. So my gun is always on fire. Yes, it's loaded. All my guns are loaded. Uh, I'm not going to take any ammo out for the video because, you know, I stay in Atlanta and get hectic around here. So, always got to be armed at all times. Just had to throw that out there. Sorry for the safety police. Um, but, uh, 
But uh, yeah, man, you guys can see, man, this gun is pretty worn, battle, battle worn. And that's kind of how I like it, man. I bought this gun used, so it's pretty broken in. Uh, but yeah, I don't really have too much going on with it other than a hole grip that I need to replace because <laughs> it's damn near broken. Pierce grip, just a regular Pierce grip uh, extender, not a um, not a plus one or plus two or anything. Um, and you know, I just uh, I run hollows through all of my guns just to show you guys that. But that's the Taurus PT-111 G2. Next is the second gun that I added to my collection. Um, and just before I move on, uh, I have a, I have a, um, for the guys that's just watching this and not my uh, previous subscribers, I have previous videos on, you know, my collections with these guns where, you know, I introduced them a lot earlier when I first bought them. But uh, this is the Ruger LCP2 um, that I've color filled. Uh, and just like the Taurus, man, I kind of left it plain Jane, man. I didn't really add too much to it. Uh, just more on the grip, a whole grip, a whole grip everything. I put some traction grips on the little uh, little thumb rest right here uh and i have the official ruger extended um base plate that adds like a round or two so uh yeah man that's just the lcp2 hornady hollow hollow point all right just a just a secondary uh gun i like to carry with me at times uh, my third and my most favorite gun out of my whole collection is the glock 26 gen 4 now this gun i had bought for i got a good deal on this gun man i bought this gun for around 435 something like that which is pretty good man for a glock 26 of this condition um so I bought it for four thirty five, and then man, I just went crazy, man. Like I wasn't even a Glock guy before I got this Glock. I was like, "Fuck Glock!" I was I was hating on Glock because I didn't have one, and everybody used to talk about how good they are, and I was just like, "Damn!" But it was always low key my dream gun to have, though. But I always used to hate on the shit. So when I finally got the money. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and buy a Glock, bro. See what the big whoop was about. And you know, check out the reliability, see what everybody was just talking about. So I bought one and I wanted this specific one. I wanted the Glock 26 Gen 4. Uh, so that's what I told the guy I wanted. Gave me the uh, Glock 26 Gen 4. I took it home and man, I just couldn't put it down, man. Like just, you know, and I bought it used. Just, um, just how it came and everything was just pristine damn near um but i spent so much money on this gun i i, I probably had to have spent like fifteen hundred dollars on top of the four uh 450 if you had the tax on top of the 450 and i just done did so much shit to it like it's crazy excuse my french but um we all going here uh stainless uh barrel Amerigo, Amer, I'm sorry, Ameriglow Night Sights. Show you guys that. If you can see, come on, focus. Ameriglow. Red front sight, uh, blacked out rear. Stainless Glock 26 uh, back plate, back slide plate. Uh, stainless slide release, stainless pin, stainless uh, mag release, uh, silver trigger, like a chrome, Dawson precision. Like, I'm telling you, man, I just fucking Gucci the hell out of this thing, man. Dawson, uh, um, like a chrome, well, I wouldn't want to call it chrome. It is kind of chrome. Like a chrome, Dawson precision, uh, base plate. 
a magazine sleeve so I could hold a Glock 19 magazine in it. Same like all my other guns, hollow point. Uh, color filled the mag, color filled the slide. Uh, hole grip, traction grips on the thumb rest. Uh, True glow laser. Man, I just I just went all out, but um, it was a project gun, as all pretty much all Glocks that anybody buys are. Um, oh, can't forget the recover rail. I really I really like this gun, man. Like it's my favorite one. Probably any gun that comes into my collection won't trump this gun. This is probably going to be my favorite gun out of my entire collection for even the guns that I add to it in the near future. I just really love the Glock 26 Gen 4. I like the blockiness of it. I just love it, man. Um, regardless of the ergonomics on other pistols, might be better. I just like the Glock 26. I, I don't know what to say. I'm a Glock guy now. <laughs> but um, that's that on that. Just had to give you guys the rundown on that one. Fourth would be my trusty DB9, Diamondback DB9 by Diamondback Firearms. Now, first off, I know you guys are going to say, where the hell is this guy's slide release? Um, I took it off. Reason why is because the slide release, well, let me eject the mag and just you know, show you guys. Hold on, let me take that out. The slide release, when I would pull the slide back, it would just get caught every time I would pull the slide back without a magazine in it. Like, it would just get caught. No gun should do that. No gun should get caught on the slide release if there's not a magazine in there. You know, for any first-time shooters that don't know that and you're thinking about buying a DB9, that's not normal. If you have a magazine, an empty magazine in your pistol, and you pull the slide back, the slide release should catch, and it should hold it open for you to put one in the head. If it's not a magazine in your gun, it should not catch none whatsoever. If it does, something's wrong with the slide release. Um, I don't want to call it a spring, but uh, whatever actuates the slide release in your gun, something's wrong with that. Um, and you have to fix it. But, uh, like any gun that I get, man, I tamper with it and I tamper with it and I run tests through it just to make sure that it feeds well. And another thing, sorry about that, another thing that this gun had, a problem that this gun had was, um, what was it? Oh, it went chamber at times. Like, I would just, you know, just rack the slide and just try to feed the gun and it wouldn't chamber at times. So it would jam and get stuck. And I'm pretty sure some of you other guys have uh, had that same problem. And it would just bother me. That slide release that would catch when it's, when no mag was in there would bother me. And that, uh, that not chambering shit bothered me. So what I did was um, uh, I went to Lowe's, bought some sandpaper, bought some... Um, metal polish and i polished that feed ramp and i polished uh the top of the barrel because it would get caught on the top on the top of the barrel so i polished everything and man i just grinded that thing down with that sandpaper man and i just went at it went at it uh i was going to buy a dremel but i was like man i might not even need to buy a dremel for this job man i might just need to do that simple thing and man when i say it works like a charm now it feeds correctly, shoots good, uh, and it doesn't, uh, and it always chambers, man, and it, it, it's no hiccups at all, man. I really like this gun. Uh, this gun, um, it looks Glock-like. Uh, one thing I don't like is just the, um, I don't like how that trigger, man, has all that play, man. Like, it has a lot of play with it. But, I mean, I bought it for $250. So, it's, I mean, that's kind of what you get, man. You get what you pay for, man. 
But uh, that's pretty much it on the DB9, man. Um, I have a laser on the way forward and a hold grip because I hold grip everything, like I said. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it on the Diamondback DB9. Let me put that back in for you guys. Um, and last but not least, what I have here is the Smith & Wesson M&P 9 Shield 2.0. Uh, I've been desiring this gun for a long time, very long time, and uh, I finally got my hands on it yesterday, so this gun is pretty, it's the newest of my collection, man, it's fairly new. Um, I bought it used, though, I buy all my guns used, I don't like that new out-the-box shit, it's too much break-in period, it's too much, it's just too much shit you gotta do, man, to get it, everything loosened up, and Get the gun comfortable, you know what I'm saying? But, um, man, it's just, man, this gun is just so premium, man. I just like premium shit. I mean, I know some of these other guns are kind of cheaper, but I just, I, I like premium shit. That's why I'm starting to buy more premium guns and not waste my time with the bullshit guns. But, man, it's just the takedown is easy. The, um... I wish I had like a tripod or something, something that could hold my camera so I could, you know, show you guys a lot of the features on this gun, man. But uh, from what I can show you guys, man, I like that it has a hole on the top of the slide. Um, I haven't gotten to shot it, shoot it yet, but um, when I do shoot it, I'll let you guys see that. Um, I like the sights. They're metal sights, man. They're very on point, very on point. Um, I like the texture of the frame, man. It just, it just feels so good in the hand. Um, it doesn't feel like it'll fly at your hand or anything. The only thing that I kind of wish was that it was a more beefier uh, frame. You know, add a couple more centimeters and uh, a little bit more weight to it. Um, but other than that, man, I just like the gun, man. I like the trigger. I don't think I'm going to change the trigger out or anything, but I am going to add a recover tactical rail on this because I don't really like the uh, add-on to frame lasers or lights or whatever they have out there. I like, you know, the traditional, you know, pick rails so I can, you know, add, add more shit. I can add more stuff. Um, I like that it doesn't have a safety on it. I don't like safeties. I used to. I don't no more. You know. One thing I want to say about safeties, man, and this is just honestly how I feel. And I might lose subscribers for this. I might get cursed out in the comment section for this, but it is what it is. This is how I feel. Um, if you feel like you have to have a safety on your gun, um, I want you to try to become comfortable with not having one just due to so many stories about people dying with their safety being on and they just get to trying to shoot their target or their threat and the safety's on and they die and they die because of that. Um, so it's just kind of a hindrance. It's in the way. Um, if you just... Honestly, I'm going to just go ahead and spit it out. I'm not trying to beat around the bush no more. If you feel like you got to have a safety on your gun, you just don't need no gun. Because one thing about guns, internally, they should be safe. If they have to be safe on the outside, then I don't know. That's just how I feel. You don't need no gun if you can't remember to not pull the trigger. And you know you loaded it. And, you know, you, you got one in the head. If you can't remember that, you know what I'm saying? Like my girl, man. My girl says she don't like to sleep with her gun by her. I told her, you don't need no gun then. Although she does, and she's going to always have one because I'm with her. But anybody that that feels like they'll wake up out of their sleep and shoot themselves in the head or something, just some dumb shit, you don't need no firearm. You don't need no gun, honestly, if you feel like you got to have an external safety, bro. Like, because... You're you're clumsy as fuck. If you if something does happen, you clumsy as fuck. You don't need no gun. Um, if you can't remember that it's loaded, cause I always remember. I always remember. And I, I built a practice to double check. 
every time that I even pull my trigger to dry fire it, I always double check like two, three times before I even pull the trigger. And I never put my finger in the trigger guard. Inside of the trigger guard, I always leave my finger up here. But when I do pull the trigger, I double check, triple check, quadruple check my guns like before I pull them triggers. You know what I'm saying? It's just that on that. Like, I just had to throw that out there. But you guys, it was a pleasure to show you guys my um, 2020 gun collection. And I hope you guys liked what you've seen. I hope I've uh, inspired some people to go get some of these guns, you know. But um, just, you know, leave me some good feedback. Tell me what I should change. Tell me what I should improve. Tell me what. Just tell me the whole thing, man. Just leave me some good comments. Like, uh, comment, subscribe, man. It's your boy Kenny with the 9, man. Love you guys, man. I'm out, man.